Hi, this is the very first video of Algebra. In this video, we will have an introduction about Algebra. So, I have a problem. The problem is, I have a bag of 100 chocolates. I have 100 chocolates. Right? And I have two sons. My first son comes and he wants few chocolates from that bag. But at the same time, my another son also comes and he asks me for four times as my elder son wants. If I ask the reason, he tells me that he has four times as many friends as his brother. So I don't know how many friends my elder son has. So I have decided to give X chocolates to my elder son. And now since my younger son says he has four times as many friends as his elder brother. So definitely I have to give him four times chocolates, right? So if I am giving my elder son X number of chocolates, I have to give him, I have to give my younger son four times as many as I am giving to my elder son, right? So these expressions, this X and 4X, they are called algebraic expressions. And here, this 4 is a constant. We know its value, it is 4. So this 4, the number 4 is called constant. And it is also called numeral. And this x is unknown. It is an unknown. I don't know the value of this x. How many friends my elder son has? I don't know its value. So this is unknown. It can have any value, any num, any numeric value this variable can hold, right? Since at present we don't know the value, we are assuming it as x. So this is called unknown. These are also called variables. And these are also called literals. Right? So in algebra, a constant and a variable or constants and variables they coexist they are there in all the expressions or in most of the expressions they are the part of an algebraic expression right so what is the meaning of 4 multiplied by x this is actually 4 times x right this is how we have written this expression 4 times x in algebra this can also be written as 4 x right 4 multiplied by x can also be written as 4 x and it is actually written as 4 x only in algebra if there are numerals and variables are in quick succession they are considered in multiplication right like 4 multiplied by x can be written as 4x there is no sign in between the reason behind this is usually this multiplication sign and this x sign can be misunderstood you can consider this as x and this as multiplication sign since it is a very simple elementary expression of algebra with one constant and one variable the misunderstanding is not possible here but when we have longer expressions more than one or more than two or three variables this multiplication sign and x can be confused so it is better not to use multiplication sign and it is actually not used in algebra variables and numerals are written in quick succession but there is a specific order of writing them suppose you have 
x multiplied by 4 multiplied by y multiplied by 2 then the correct way of writing this is actually you multiply all the numerals like 4 to the 8 and write the constant in the beginning of the expression then you write these variables in quick succession but in alphabetical order so this expression can actually be written as 8 x y the rule of writing an algebraic expression is first you have to write the constants followed by rest of the variables in alphabetical order so if you have some expression like 16 b a this is not wrong but correct way of writing it to avoid any confusion or mistakes is 16 a b write number first constant value first and then write rest of the variables in alphabetical order so this is the correct method of writing any algebraic expression okay so now let's go back to our original problem the problem was I have a bag of 100 chocolates and I have to distribute them among both my sons so how to distribute and both of them have put on their conditions that if elder one wants X number of chocolates the younger one will need four times as many as his elder brother gets so now I have to do a calculation how many chocolates to give which one so if I am giving X number of chocolates to my elder son so I have to give four times the X that is 4x chocolates to my younger son so now let's try and find out how many chocolates will each one of them get elder one is getting X chocolates and my younger one is getting 4 times X that is 4x chocolates and these together are 100 chocolates that means together they are getting 100 number of chocolates so X chocolates and 4x chocolates that is 5x 5x chocolates are actually equal to 100 that means if I take one fifth of both the sides so here I'll get these are 5x's so if I'm taking one fifth of these x's it will be x and if I divide 100 into 5 parts each part will be 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 and plus 20 this is 100 right so 100 if it is divided into 5 equal parts one part is 20 right so if my elder son is getting 20 chocolates younger son will get 20 multiplied by 4 that is 80 chocolates if my elder son is getting this much one fifth my younger son will get these many chocolates right this is actually 80 and these are 20 so I have done the distribution of chocolates among my sons and you have understood what algebra is.